Box truck gang, what up? Um, I know it's been a minute since I dropped a video. Um, you know, these last two weeks have been real, real, real hectic. You know, just real busy trying to um, put some ideas that I had together, just turn those into reality. And, um, you know, now, now, now we finally here. So uh, when I first started this business, um, probably back in like November last year, no, January this year, but I was getting the paperwork started in November and stuff like that. Um, I had an idea where I wanted to start a program, um, you know, that transitions independent contractors, which would be drivers, to owner operators, um, you know, so kind of like, I guess the CDL school, I'm not sure if they get you your own truck or if they, if you work for a company, um, but that's pretty much, you know, the program that, that um, I wanted to start and it would be called Driving to Success, you know, and the motto is, it's not a job. It's an opportunity because you're not a worker. You don't you don't work for me. You know this is just an opportunity for you to you know get your own truck and start your own business. Um, me personally, I don't mind sharing this, but I'm a felon. I have a felony. I caught my first felony at the age of 18, and um, you know of course I went to jail, whatever. Um, but after that, you know, I, I I seen firsthand how hard it was to get a job and I'm, I'm talking about easy jobs like Target, uh, Best Buy, you know, like small, small jobs, you know, and, um, and, and that's from a mistake that I've made and that, that followed me for years, you know, where, where I couldn't get a job or I mean, I would get a job somewhere, but of course it ain't nothing to, you know, make a career or living out of. Um, and I know there's a lot of people out here, you know, who have made mistakes in life. Um, whether it be 20 years ago, 10 years, you know, uh, life get hard for some people and understand, you know, you make a mistake, you know, but that one mistake, you know, hinders you for the rest of your life. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to find employment. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to really, you know, try to get your life together when, you know, you may have a family or, you know, you may have whatever your situation may be, um, you know, it's just a lot harder to make it and you can't really get to certain places because of, mistakes that you made in the past you know so um not that the target crowd are is felons um it's really for anybody you know the best candidate for the program um you know but um that that kind of drove me to you know wanting to start the program um you know and like i say there's people who have you know hard work ethic you know who 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 is dedicated who's motivated and who would take full advantage of the opportunity if it was given to them. But some people don't even get that opportunity, you know, because of that mistake. And, you know, when 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 I was in a position, I was working at a preschool, I was making $11 an hour. Who the fuck wants to survive off $11 an hour? Even 12, 13, 14, 15, like who, who wants to survive off that? You know, you got a family to take care of, you got, it's it's hard, you know? So when, when, when I was working at a preschool, I wasn't getting, paid that much, I quit that job and I started doing DoorDash. I started delivering food, you know, and that was, it was an independent contractor. I work for myself, I drive, I work whenever I want. And you know, the more I work, the more I get paid, you know, and that that's on the lower scale, you know, it's DoorDash. Of course is, I'm not gonna grow and be a fucking top DoorDash. I ain't gonna start my own DoorDash company, but it just gave me that, that flexible schedule, you know, to, um, you know, work and make, make my own money on my own terms. I wasn't, I didn't have no boss. I didn't have no one telling me, you know, what time to wake up or, you know, um, I didn't have to worry about, you know, only getting paid a certain amount because of, you know, my past. So I did DoorDash and, you know, I thugged it out and I did that for like three, three, four, four, four or five years, you know, and then I took that money that I saved up over the course and I started this business, um, you know, so, that's what I want to do, you know, and through, through, through this business, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of young, but you know, um, I believe, you know, we can all kind of learn from each other, whether it be mentorship, you know, whether it be, um, you know, just financial literacy, you know, that's, that's what I want this program to be, you know, just really, uh, mentoring people and, you know, helping them, you know, save, you know, and through the program it's going to be set up, you know, where percentages are, you know, it goes towards your truck, you know, and um, I was going to put a time limit on it, but it's kind of really hard to put a time limit on it, um, you know, 
So that will be further discussed, you know, once, you know, applications and interviews, you know, will be set up. But my reason for, you know, saying this, the, the program, it wasn't really all the way, you know, I guess really put out there. Um, I've been contacted by a couple of people, you know, who, who've been asking, you know, for opportunity and, you know, just kind of telling me a bit about themselves and, you know, how they're looking for opportunity. And this one guy um, had reached out to me through email. So after talking to him, you know, for, we talked, I think the first phone call was about an hour, you know, then we stayed in touch, um, you know, days, weeks, and he just seemed like a good candidate for a driver, you know? So I said, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and just start the program with him. I'm gonna just go ahead and, you know, introduce the program and he will be the first driver, you know? And um, and we wanna see, you know, how that goes. and. This is, it's, I say it's a, it's a new program. I don't, I don't think there's any other program like that out there. Um, I, I ran it by him. He thought it was a good idea. You know, he, he agreed to, you know, the terms of the program and stuff like that. And, um, and you know, you can only prepare so much. You know, I last I've been working on this, you know, just getting everything down, um, you know, how I want to be ran. Um, and like I said, you, you can't really prepare for things that you, are going to come across, you know, it's just like, it's hard to be a thousand percent prepared for every single situation, you know? So, um, you know, I believe that it's, it, it's ready and, um, you know, it's going to be, I don't know how fast it's going to grow. I don't know, you know, if it's going to be at a high rate, at a low rate, I'm not sure. Um, you know, but as time comes, I'm going to start adding, of course, you know, more trucks, uh, more people. And, um, and yeah, you know, it's, the program isn't going to be for everybody, you know, that's, it, it's just not, you know, and I'm sure that some people in the comments or some people out there may say, well, or whatever y'all may say, whether it's negative, whether it's positive, I cool, I appreciate it, you know, but everyone's going to have their opinion on what I'm doing, you know, that's, everybody's going to have an opinion on what you do or whatever, and that's cool, you know, um, it's not going to stop me from, you know, doing a, the, the whole program or whatever, you know, but, you know, whatever y'all do, dish out, whatever comments y'all, you know, put out, of course, Everyone's entitled to their opinion. And if it's some good comments or negative comments, I may read it and I may take it into consideration on some changes I make and make or or not make, you know. Um, you know, but like I say, this program is not gonna be for everybody, but it will be for somebody. There's somebody out there who who needs opportunity and you know, who's willing um, you know, to start or ready to start their own business and you know uh provide for you know a better living for themselves or for their family and stuff like that like i say you know it's going to be a hundred percent mentorship you know um you know what, what i've learned um also upon you know completing the program um you know i'm of course i'm gonna take care of all the paperwork all your loc um you know all your paperwork um you know it, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be really set up for once you get your own truck you already have your three, you already be in business for three months. Your authority will already be active for three months. So you're gonna come in with a 90 day active authority. And and also, um, also dispatching will be set up for you. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's really set up, you know, for, I mean, I'm not gonna say set up for success because success really determines on you, the person. Um, you know, if you, if you have hard work ethic, if you are goal oriented, if you, um, understand, you know, what it is to save and build credit and stuff like that. Um, even, even that, even with credit, I got, you know, people on the team, you know, that's willing to help, you know, with credit repair and, you know, really get you like, this is, it's, 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 it's a, it's a pretty solid program. Um, like I say, I just hope that it works out and I hope that, you know, the people who do come into it, um, you know, I'm sure I'm going to experience bad drivers, you know, I'm sure I'm going to come across some things where people may not even complete the program or you know they may got to get kicked out you know but the reason why like i say with the program um you know it's if it does go bad for one person you know then i'm i'm gonna go through the emails i'm gonna look at you know uh it may be like a waiting list or something like that you know depending on how many people of course apply to how many other trucks is available or where someone is into completing the program um you know if something does go wrong, then I'll be able to, you know, 
go on the waiting list, see, you know, the next best next best candidate and swap them out, you know. Um, yeah, so it's it's really a, a help me, I help you kind of situation. Um, like I say, a lot of people, they want to hire drivers. It's hard to find a driver because don't no one want to work for nobody. You know what I'm saying? And this is the transportation industry. It's, it's, it's so much opportunity, you know, and, you know, it's so much money to be made, you know, and, um, and, and I don't, I don't want that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, you know, you working for me. I never been a fan of working for anybody else myself, you know, but of course you got to work. You got to put in the work. You got to, you don't go from zero to a hundred overnight. You know what I'm saying? You got to put in a little bit of work, but the reward will be, um, high, you know? So, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the, the process. Um, right now I'm in New Jersey, um, dropping off a load, the driver that I have hired. So he's going to be the first person, um, you know, of this program. Um, I'm going to pick him up after I drop off this load and, you know, we're going to go through, you know, over the next week, we're going to do some training, you know, just to get him, you know, sharp. He, he has commercial driving experience and, you know, he's been in the moving industry. So, um, it shouldn't be, you know, he shouldn't be that bad of a driver, you know, but, um, after I drop this off, I'm gonna pick him up and, um, yeah, we're going to hit the road for a week. And, you know, so that was, that's probably gonna be the next video, you know, of course is me, um, you know, training him and whatnot. Um, also mm -hmm. I do have a website coming. Um, that's going to be, probably drop maybe within the next within the net within the next week uh, i got the website on there you will be able to apply for the program you will be able to you know submit your information and stuff like that also there's gonna be some other links on there that, that y'all want to check out um you know so yeah that's 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 pretty much what i've been doing these last two weeks and like i say on uh, the program is driving to success where the motto is it's not a job it's an opportunity you know so um if you are a person, you know, I'm sure, I don't know, it's it's the United States, you know what I'm saying? It's not, like I told, you know, some people locally, um, you know, but I say it's hard to find a good driver. And I'm sure a lot of people, I'm not, I don't know, maybe a lot of people will apply, maybe a lot of people won't, will not apply. But like I say, um, it's going to be, if there's a lot of people and, you know, you're not get, have gotten back to, that's because, you know, of course, you know, emails have been um, flooded and it would take time, you know, to get back to you. But I will get back to every single person and give you an update. Um, I'm not just going to ignore people, whether it just be there's a wait, waiting list, we'll, you know, get back to you. Whatever, case, whatever the case may be, there will be some form of communication, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this and we'll see how it go. So I say after I drop this load off, I'm going to go pick him up. And then um, these next couple of days, we're going to do some training and uh, introduce him, um, you know, I guess to the program or how, we'll see how it go. I don't know. But I'm out of here. I'm out of finish uh, getting unloaded. And then uh, I'll see you in a couple of days.